Well, I have to start by admitting not too long ago I probably would have voted no on this bill. But in the, in the past, there have been a couple things that have changed my mind on this. The first one is, is in the last 10 years, I've had conversations with hundreds, and I guess now it's in the thousands of people about this issue. And in 99.9% .9 of the time, the people that are opposed to gay marriage at some point in their discussion, they always say, my Bible says. And so if this is the reason or the rationale for being opposed to this or for why this law is currently in place, the question that keeps going through my mind over and over again is do we as a society have the right to impose our religious beliefs on somebody else. A right that I have taken for granted and most of the people in this room have taken for granted since the day we realized what the opposite sex is. That is a right that I've taken for granted for a long time. And yet some people, because of others' religious beliefs, do not have that right. The other thing that happened was last summer I got married. And before that I had dated a woman for four years. And she was a wonderful woman. And I realized after four years that I could have married her and I would have been happily married to her for the rest of my life. But I also realized I could be happy without her. And I decided after four years that I wasn't going to marry somebody I could live with. If I got married again, it was going to be to somebody I could not live without. And so we broke up. And in a few months, I met my wife. And it didn't take me very long to realize this was somebody I could not live without. And how lucky I am. How lucky we are. And yet in this state, there are people that feel that way about each other, that cannot live without that other person, that feel the same way they do about each other that I feel about my wife, and yet because of religious beliefs of other people, they do not have the right that I have taken for granted since the day I realized what the opposite sex was. This last weekend I was at our Synod Assembly and a young man got up and he spoke about courage. And while he was speaking my mind wandered, I hate to admit that, but it wandered to the courage that it takes today to vote for this bill when the majority of the people in my district do not agree with this. But then my mind wandered even further to the young man or woman that every day has to get up and go to school knowing that they are going to be picked on, knowing they are going to be called names, knowing that there's a good chance they may get beat up because they are who God made them to be. Children of God. Brothers and sisters of ours. Children of God. And yet they do not have the same rights that we do. And so today we have the opportunity, the opportunity to give a part of our population, fellow brothers and sisters of God, the same rights that most of us have taken for granted since the day we knew what the opposite sex was. Please vote to give them
that right thank you